So we started our second day. Um, let me welcome everybody. Without, <laughs> we just dove into the jukes without even beating, uh, beating around the bush. All right, so for those of you who are with us for the first time or you're on Facebook, um, this is the second day of our free online seven day global retreat, Rebirth a New You. So I'm Zaratustra, I'm your host. Feel free if you want to ask me a question. If you're on our system Zoom, you're just going to have to either type it in the chat box or uh, you can unmute yourself and ask me a question. Um, those of you who are on Facebook, I'm not able to communicate with you. So, cool. Let's continue our conversation from yesterday. So yesterday, just a quick brief up on it, was that rebirthing is not possible unless we come to terms with death. With death. death comes first, actually. So you have to experience death before you can rebirth. So that means you have to become okay with dying. You have to be okay with dissolving into not knowing. Death means not knowing. When you die, You don't know what's going to happen, so it's not knowing. So we can call it not knowing instead of death. So I'm going to share three different things with you today. And these three things, if you use them in your principle, in your spirituality, then these three things will set you free. So basically, all you have to do is to abide and to be dedicated to these three principles. So the number one is that the guru, the master, is always here. Okay, I want you to stop doing whatever you're doing, whatever that is, I don't care. And I want you to pay attention because I'm gonna say this one more time. And pay attention, okay? Because there are times that gems come out of my mouth, it's like really the gems. And you don't wanna miss that. So pay attention. Don't fool around with your cat, this, that, whatever. Put everything away. This is the most important thing right now than anything else in the world. Your freedom to become free. And you can't become free if you're a ding-dong. If you're acting like an idiot, then you're not free. That means you have to pay attention, you have to show up, you have to be dedicated, and you have to sacrifice. That's the price you pay. You can't be a ding-dong and expect to become free. You have to be like shock, zen. So, number one is the master, is the guru. So the real one is within yourself, okay? Comprende? 
The real one is within yourself. I'm going to say it one more time. I want you to pay attention. Please pay attention, okay? The real master, the guru, is within yourself. It's not outside. And if you feel this love for me, this affinity, this appreciation or connection or pull or whatever it is that you feel with me and you feel like I am your spiritual master, I'm your teacher, I'm the guru. I'm just letting you know that whatever wisdom that you feel you're getting from me and the fire of life, it's really coming out of yourself. So you're, I'm mirroring back to you of your own power, of who you are of your own beauty. And if you act stupid, I'm gonna kick your ass. And bring you back. If you fall asleep, and fall into the maya, the illusion, then I'm going to have to come and kick your butt and bring you back. But it's out of love. So the number one thing, master, is within yourself, you're the one. So start paying attention inwards, discover the inner voice that speaks to you and it has the wisdom. Yet in the meantime, okay, and you see the master in the other world, which is the reflection of yourself. And I continue to serve you to the point that my mission is succeeded. So you realize that you're the one you are looking for. And I'm only accompanying you till that point because the only thing I'm interested in is a transaction. That's all I care. We meet and there's a transaction. And in that transaction to the force, to the power of the presence, you go through a transformation and you come to awakening. After that, we're done. Move on with your life. You don't need to follow me. You're welcome to if you want but there's nothing I can give you that you don't have. So the master has the power of transmission. So number one is the master. Number two is silence. You can't love, you can't taste, you can't make love, you cannot appreciate. You're not even alive when you're not silent. You're in deep sleep. You're a robot. Your actions are mechanical. It's a program that is working. You eat like a machine. You sleep like a machine. You fuck like a machine. 
especially in that area, you can really see it. Because you can pay attention to it and you realize how mechanical you are. So then you come to silence. You become quiet. You discover about silence. You investigate silence and you begin to practice silence. And through that, seek the company of those that they can hang out with you and they can be comfortable spending time with you but they don't have to blah, blah, blah. And you don't have to blah, blah, blah. Seek the company of the wise. Silent people. Then, number three. Very important, you have to be very alert, especially at this time where we at in this period in our, of the humanity, time, the dimension we're in and the illusion we're living in. Okay, this is something that is a must. It's got to be your daily practice. You got to do it rel religiously, religiously. And understand it, not just doing it robotic. You have to learn to A, disconnect from devices and distractions. Go sit in a restaurant by yourself and don't get on your phone. And just sit there and look at people and be uncomfortable. Practice being uncomfortable. Often not engaging with your devices and learn to be, but not to be entertained, simply to be. We have to learn that. We have to learn A, B, C, D again. Otherwise you're stuck in your head. You know what they call it? Mind fucking. And it's not fun. So the third one that, that is absolutely a necessity that needs to be practiced is you have to practice to be still. You have to learn how to be still. And meditation, like formal meditation, it is a form of teaching you how to be still. But you have to take the stillness into the events of your life. You have to take it to the everyday events of your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, no, okay. Do you know what it means taking stillness into the every day's moment? 
taking stillness. You take stillness with you into the everyday moment. And you don't start practicing by not reacting to anything. Make that your practice. Don't react. Get into the habit of not reacting. And if you want to react, give it a pause. Wait. Get into that practice with whatever it is, with your judgment. You're going to judge somebody or some situation or a thought. Stop. Learn to be still. Be still. Somebody walks up to you and says, Hey, idiot, how many times do I have to tell you that wash the dishes like this or the how many times I gotta tell you this could be your partner or your boss or mom or dad or and then you're bent out of shape because emotionally you're devastated somebody walked up to you and told you hey you idiot and your whole day is destroyed your whole week is destroyed But what if you just stay still and when somebody walks up to you and tells you, hey, you idiot, and you hear it, but you're like transparent. It's like you're empty inside. There's nothing there. You just look at the guy and you don't react. You stay still. You're driving fast, policeman pulls you over, heart starts speeding up, he comes and asks you for your driver license, whatever. You still responding, but you're still. Your lover walks up to you, your partner, da 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 da, and then you've been together, you've been lovey dovey, it's been partner of life, your coming together actually happened during the full moon, you know, it was like one of those special full moons. But then after a few years, she's going to come or he's going to come to you and tell you, you know what? I'm not into you anymore. I don't love you. I'm actually into your girlfriend or your friend who's younger and more handsome. And then all of a sudden you're devastated. It's like your world is destroyed. Ooh, you crashed out. That's, these are like extreme example. I'm just using them because I wanna share this with you so you understand what I'm talking about because um, the time has come. We can't fool around. This is it. You've got to learn and practice how to be still. Stillness. Oh. Nothing shakes you. No news, no this, no that. Finances, economy, blah, 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 blah. You're just like a mountain. You do not react to things. And then when you want, you react, but you react from another place. Stillness. These three things that I shared with you, I mean, in a way, it's, it's like 30 years of 40 years of being a spiritual seeker, maybe more than that. And God knows how many lifetimes before that to come to this wisdom, 
this understanding is A, the master is within yourself. You are the master. It's here. Look inside. Two, stay quiet. Be silent. Practice silence. Practice going beyond your mind into the abyss of stillness and infinity, which there are no thoughts. It's quiet. And that's where you meet the self. That's where you meet God. That's where you come across Her Majesty the Supreme, your own being. That's why every once in a while, when you're very busy, you're going, 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 you're really lost in the whole drama or whatever. And you come to this place that you feel with yourself like you have not spent time with me. You haven't spent time with yourself. And it's not yourself, it's it's not the character yourself, you didn't spend any time with it. You haven't spent time with the presence, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Lord God. So if you're surrounded by people and you're busy all the time, you never give yourself a chance to be still and quiet to meet the self, the power, the big kahuna, kahuna, Yahweh, Krishna, that which is always here. That which is always here, it's always present, it's always still. So one of the most important things that we have to learn about being still is also the more you're still, the more you become aware of that which is changing. The apparent world, the Maya, the ever-changing world is always changing. Everything is always changing. And you can't find any comfort in it. So you have to, you have to die into that. You have to die into it. Die into that which is always changing is not real. This becomes like your mantra of life. Anything that changes, anything that comes and goes is not real. The only, the only real thing is that which does not change, that which does not come and go. I'm going to say it again one more time because I want to make sure you understand. The only real thing is Mark my words. These are the words the Supreme Tongue from the highest place of existence that anything can be channeled or message or be brought to you. I am sharing it with you in this very moment. And this is not something I've made up. This is the highest the supreme teaching. Anything that changes is not real. The only real thing is that which it never changes. So you recognize that you become free. Because your mind, your personality, your body, your friends, 
family. Everything is changing all the time. But they're changing in front of what? To whom are they changing? Who is the one who's aware of the change? Who is the one who's always aware of things changing? There must be a changeless. That's witnessing changes. Look for that. And in that realization, as you're coming close to it, you're getting much closer to it and you start to touch it, what happens is the power begins to demonstrate itself. It's not like that you have healing powers or you're the one who's healing. No, it's that you have come close to that which is still. You have come to stillness. So you're touching it. That's where everything comes from. The presence. And the presence, the good news is inside yourself. Always brand newing itself, always regenerating. We are rebirthing continuously. This is not anything new. It's been happening ever since the ever since. Hmm. Anybody has any questions? Let's see what we got. Have you always been guided to story? <laughs> Somebody asked me, have you always been Zaratustra or did you become Zaratustra? I would have to say both. Has ever anybody read the book? It's called The Unbearable Lightness of the Being. The Unbearable Lightness of the Being. It's like, it's interesting because the more you realize, the closer you get to the source, the closer, the more you're diving in, into it. Um, it's like it's constantly in communication. It's there all the time and it's flowing. It's this constant flow. It's difficult to explain it. So, but in the same time, it's intense because it's very powerful. You have come in contact with that. And that is regenerating itself all the time. So, you can bring yourself to this place for a moment, even if it's kind of like a concept of 
come to yourself, come to this place. And see yourself and allow yourself to regenerate without any kind of preconception ideas. Right. See what happens. There's like immediately something shifts. And it's interesting to see the more you go in, the deeper you're going into this whole thing, the mystery, the mystery of life. the more it gets interesting because you're also in the same time you realize that you can't figure this thing out. There's no way. And of course, it's a big blow for the mind because the mind really wants to be in control and wants to figure things out. But there is nothing to figure out because it's so vast. It's beyond. And it keeps going. It keeps regenerating itself, expanding itself, it keeps from every angle is continuously is being born. It dies and it's born. It just like an avalanche, it's just running through itself. No questions. What a good bunch. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you unmute yourself? Unmute, yeah. No. Yes. I, I feel I listen to what you say and I feel I can walk around in my own space, yes. But I feel it is an empty space. Um it's empty. Okay. No. Yeah. So, okay. Let me let me see if I understand what you're saying. Mm. Okay. Let me ask you something right now. Okay, for a moment. Mm. All right. So I, we're hanging out together, right? Mm. Yeah. Is it empty or what is it right now? No. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no. What What is it? Um, it's, uh, yeah, I yeah. can't explain, right. but it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it is, right? And it's hard to explain it, correct? Yeah, yeah. And however, why wouldn't you be able to explain it since you're in it all the time in your life? So... How can you, how, how is it you can't explain it? Mm. You understand? Mm. Yeah. yeah, because, yeah. because. It's a space. No, no, it's not a phase because it it's is. It's a space. It's a space. A, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's always here. Mm. It's, yeah. I'm, I, yeah. Yeah. So. When you're saying that you're doing meditation, blah, 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 and then you feel empty space, right? You just said that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said you feel empty space, correct? Mm. Right. What it is, it's a projection of your mind creating a story that this meditation 
has resulted into an empty, dull, meaningless space. Mm -hmm. When the space is the same space you're in right now, then, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm. hold on. You're doing a good job. Just hang in there, okay? Mm. You're ready to go a little bit deeper? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. hang out here with me just for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Together. Mm. What do, what do you have to do to hang out here? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> right. Exactly. So mm. Just to be. Yeah, is it uncomfortable? Do you do you feel it's no, a, it's no, it's no. effortless, isn't it? Right. I, I feel it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Effortless. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now, don't go anywhere with any stories. Just mm. hang out here. Mm. Even the story that you have to become free or enlightened or blah, blah, blah. Get used to hanging out here and then you will see the gems and the gift that here has for you. Mm. Yeah. And in that, you may realize you actually don't need to do anything. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, thanks for showing up. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <clears throat> uh, one of our um, participants send me a message that Zaratustra um, like the past couple of times, like the last academy, um, I didn't speak very much, so it was mostly silence, and it was very, very powerful, and same as yesterday. And so one of the participants was telling me that why don't you blast us stronger or like that or send more energy so it, it's interesting um the um You know, it's like when you are on this path and you're doing the work, you have to be patient with yourself because what it is, is like filling up a balloon and this balloon gets filled up. It's a brand new balloon and it gets filled up to a certain point. And then you have to let the air go. And then you again, fill it up and this time it expands, let it go. The third time it goes to its full potential when you're going in. So the, the thing is that um, we have to be available for the frequency of silence. So we have to do the work, the, the groundwork, and get you slowly, slowly helping you to raise your vibrations to the fifth dimensional vibrational frequency. It just doesn't happen overnight. 
because your fuses will burn. So the key is to get you acclimated and teach you and, and you keep practicing learning, entering into the silence. So you're still and you're silent. So you're doing it regularly. As you're doing it regularly, what happens is space opens up because you're not on the thing, you're not trying to manifest, you're not trying to control, you're not trying to create. You're not trying to create or control or manifest any of these things. You're taking a step back, okay? There's a lot of pressure on manifesting, creating, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of pressure. So you pull back, you come back, and then you relax. And space opens up. All of a sudden there's space. In the space, since it's the presence of the kahuna, what happens is the being, the master, appears and blasts and sends this really powerful um, frequency of silence. But also the thing is, it's not just like about sending it very strongly throughout the planet constantly to different people. It's also a part of it is, are they ready to receive it? Have they done the work? Because it could also be damaging. So when we come to this work and when we come to sitting together, going into this place, and then the transmission happens. It always happens according to what you can handle collectively. It's never going to be like overloading. Hi, Kendra. Um, I have been with you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. Nice to see you. It's good to see you too. Um, I am very grateful and blessed to be here today. And um, I've been listening to you. I wanted to let you know that I have, um, in many ways, spiritually died. And uh, I'm sorry, group. I just need just a moment to get this off my chest because nobody really seems to understand what's happened. Uh, I used to live in Austin, Texas, and um, I moved to Jefferson City, Missouri, and we live in a very difficult area. And um, I don't think I can, I've got healing stones. I've got supplements that I'm working with. Um, I've been to, studied religion, um, and uh, I have a, uh, we do have a Vispasana Samatha here in Jefferson City, um, but I can't seem, I've even studied Scientology, looking for a cure to my spiritual health. And um, I don't seem, I don't know what to do at this point. I guess just if I come maybe to the next few days do this, I'm thinking about traveling and maybe going to the lake of the Ozarks or something and getting a nice little cottage or hotel or something just to get some rest because um, it's been just the kahuna yeah. it's been too much for me. Right. I can't get an, I don't want to do, I'm a mother. I was just, I have a child and you know, I've brought him to church and I prayed for him to be safe. And, and I've even, you know, I'm looking at a tree, you know, when you were talking mm -hmm. 
about what am I trying to change for? And that's the problem is that I don't, I don't know. I'm a musician. I'm a singer songwriter, you know, and I feel very used and, um, I, and it's not, you know, a secret or it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Um, I've been studying some Scientology for a brief moment in time and, um, you know, I can't, I want to get myself back so bad. Like next week, I'm going to be at the gym every day, swimming and, okay. and working. Um, one more. All right. So th thank you for sharing this with me. So let's examine one thing right now, if we may. Okay, together. Okay. Okay. So for one moment, I would like you to simply bring your attention like as if you're turning it inwards and look at your mind and see if there's any thoughts. There is a, do you want me to tell you what I'm thinking? Are there thoughts there or not? Not, not what it is. Just take a look. Take a look. It's a pic. It's a picture of me wearing an amulet at okay. Martin Spring. Right. All right. All right. Hold on a second. One more time. Hold on. Take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. Take another deep breath. Okay. Now look inwards look for the source of your thoughts. Where do your thoughts come from? Take a look. Look. Resent. I have a resentment. No, I'm talking about like, look inwardly. I don't know how to do it. Okay, we'll do it again. All right, one more time. Can you bring okay. your attention? Can you bring your attention here? Okay. Put your finger here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I'm going to count to five. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Take your finger off. Okay. Okay. Just stay here. Okay. So now we're going to just play this game for a moment, just for fun. Okay. We're going to disconnect everything that has ever happened up to this moment from your memory okay it's just a game everything okay. everything that has ever happened to this moment in your life it's just a game so you disconnect that Okay. okay. And everything that is going to be happening to you. So let's disconnect that too. Anything is going to be in the future. Can you do that? It's a game, which is for fun. Okay. 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 All right. So now we disconnected everything that has ever happened. We disconnect it. So there is no memory of the past. You don't remember anything. This is a game we're playing, right? We disconnected that. Okay? Are you with me? Kind of. Stay, stay, okay, <laughs> stay with me. Stay with me because this is important. Okay. okay. We're going to play a game. A part of the game, okay? Just a game like two kids playing game. Don't take it so seriously. You look, you look very serious. Okay. Okay. I want to taste. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. 
So we're going to play a game. This game is that we're going to disconnect your past, anything that has happened to this moment. We disconnect it as if it doesn't exist. Okay? Okay. All right. So now you're here without any past, without any story, without anything. There's, there's no past. You don't remember anything. Okay, just for a moment, all right? But I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, you have no past. It's a game, we're playing a game. Can you do that? I can try, yes. Okay, all right, cool. All right, now, who are you? Kendra. How do you know that that comes from the past? You went to the past. Okay. All right, so we do it again. We're, we're completely letting go of anything up to this moment, and we're hanging out here. You and I hanging out together right now. No pass. So let's hang out together. Let's just be together for a moment, you and I. Okay. Okay. So tell me what's happening in this moment. I'm looking at a flower, a tree outside that's bloomed, and I am thinking about um, a movie. <laughs> okay. The big boat, I'm just being serious, and like with Matthew McConaughey and Nicole Kidman, and um, boats named Gemma, and I'm thinking about um, the, the flower that I'm looking at right now it has no past, but beauty, and something that came from God. Possibly Jehovah, I don't know, and um, no, um, God. Right, right. Um, great. So, okay, cool, cool. So let's just stay here for a moment, okay? Okay. All right, let's just hang out here. Just hang out here. Let's just be together, don't go anywhere. Let's just hang out here together, all of us. Let's just be here right now. Okay. Yeah. Is nature, like I, I probably need to have some one-on-one -on -one sessions with you, but I really have to get this under control. I well, can't do this Hold on anymore. a second, hold on, sweetheart. You, you went, you went out, come back here. Okay. Okay. All right. Here. Here, we don't have a story. We're just hanging out together. So let's take a break from the story. Let's give mom a break. Let's get a nanny or your sister or your grandma or your mom taking care of your kids. Let's give mommy a break today. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's just take a little break from the story. Hang in there. I'm gonna come back to you, okay? I'll come okay. back to you. Just, oh, just stay right. here. Yeah, just hang out. Okay. Hang out. No story. Don't go anywhere. Just, just let's enjoy being together for a few moments here, and enjoy here and not muddy it with the story. The story okay. is there. Okay. Cool. Hi, Anneli. Nice to see you. You have to unmute yourself. Oh, sure. Okay, I messed up. Do it again. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome home. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everything is good with you? Everything is good, thank God. All is well. I see that and feel yeah. that. Yeah, no, no complaint. Everything is good, thank God. You know, I drive a motorcycle and a lot of times, like, it's easy to be careless in a moment and not paying attention. And then boom, so, you know, you can, crash into someone or someone can hit you. So, and uh, every, every day that I drive this motorcycle, at the end of the day when I get home, I'm just like, okay, one more day that nothing happened to me. I didn't get in an accident or break my leg or break my neck or anything like that. So, the rest of it is part of life, you know, things, when things go your way, you're happy. And then when things don't go your way, you're not. That's the way of life. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, but you know, um, before maybe I feel uh, that if something come on my way, I feel a private that was uh, want to hurt me, but uh, for a couple of years back ago, uh, I feel that if something happened really there and I look at it, um, I don't feel that these things want to hurt me. So I go on my step on my other side and look at it and I say, I can do nothing better that I feel good here and now. So uh, I feel a lot of things happen, you know, this Corona time. So, but uh, right. I don't go in there because, so right. for me, I, I, I see that uh, everything is good. I'm here. And every day when I wake up, I want to be, do the best for, uh, for the day. So I live. <laughs> Well, the, ever, ever since I've known you, overall, you're a very positive, upbeat kind of a person. But it's also very nice that you're sharing with us that I think what you're saying is that you are not a victim. So no matter exactly. what happens, and events are out of your control, but it doesn't matter because you look at it from a different place. So I, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's and that's. I think it's uh, yeah. good that we're gonna do that. Well, that, uh, well, that's that's the only way it is. I mean, there's no other way. So yeah. or going into suffering because now we're very much attached to something needs to be in a way that we want it to be. So. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people they ask me, "How are you? How are you?" Because um, um, what I work with is uh, a lot of things here in Sweden happening that we're suffering. But uh, so people ask me, "How are you? How are you?" And I say, "I'm really good because just now everything is good." So uh, I don't. Right. I'm not this uh, things back there. Uh, no, the be everything is good. Really, I can say it from my heart. Really, that Beautiful. everything is good in my Beautiful. life. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Very, Thank you. Yeah, really nice to see you. And you were asking for a, a week uh, retreat. Here, here it is. And you showed up. You yes. Yeah, you showed up. You you weren't just speaking about it. You really showed up. So I'm proud of you. Yes. I really feel that I want to be here. Yes, so and I appreciate we, it. I think we are lots of, uh, we really miss you. Your energy and your light and your positive, you're there, you mm. take us. I miss you when you speak. So, uh, so I think we are lots that we really want you here. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I I miss all of you too. You're a part of my family. And we have bonded with each other. So yeah. and I do look forward to the time that we can all meet in person. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, love. Thank I really appreciate it. Thank you, that. thank you. Tuz, uh, Tuz, uh, no, Tuzan <laughs> Okay, Miss Kendra. Are you there? Can you unmute yourself? Unmute. Unmute. Yes, yeah. I'm here. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, okay. so how are we doing? I'm doing better. I'm just, I'm thinking, um, I, I have to like totally revamp myself. Okay. Because so, you so, earlier, I, have, I used to have so much Ken, love in my heart. Kendra? 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 Yes. Okay, we, the part of the game is that we're not bringing anything from the past. So you have to hang out with something fresh. Like come to your house? No, <laughs> what I'm saying is right now, we're, we're not, you remember we, we said we're going to play a game together just for fun, okay. right? And the part of okay. the game is that it's all fresh. It's all starting from this moment. So there's no past. Your past is not into this equation, okay? Hello? I'm here. Okay, okay? Okay. All right, so let's hang out here together, here, and examine what's happening here in this moment. Let's examine it. Let's just take a look at it. And you can be scientific or objective if you want, but check out this moment. Take a look at this moment here, right now. And tell me without, without your past, story tell me is there anything missing in this moment you okay i'm missing mm -hmm. okay cool stay stay here stay with it okay i just need a break i can't i'm so no well come back come back Okay. Okay, come back here. You you came to me for help and I want okay. to help you. Okay? I'm okay. not I'm not brushing you off. I'm here with you. Just hang out with me here. Okay. Okay. I'm so embarrassed. Well, tell me something. Tell, tell me something. What do you think of my glasses? I like your glasses. I like your bracelet. I have a jewelry box with some rings right. in them. And I've been thinking about you um, sometimes. And... Um, I'm sorry if I've ever hurt you because um, I saw you at this ring and it made me think of you and I was happy and I wanted to know more about you because I thought um, I saw your Buddha and I thought maybe, you know, I don't know much about your history, but I just need somebody to to talk to you that has love in their heart and um, understands. I have musician friends. I'm friends with my okay. oh, friends. With cool. People. Okay, and stop. Are, stop. Yeah, I'm here with you, Kendra. Okay. Cool. Let's hang out together. Let's talk. Okay. Okay. Tommy. 
something fresh from today. Um, I got up this morning and was hopeful and I read a book by Melody Beatty called Codependency No More. And um, I cannot, unfortunately, I'm very limited on reading scriptures. So, um, because I... So, hold on. Don't go in the past. Sorry. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. This has been, I've been yeah. working hard come to try Come back here. Yeah. Come back here with me. So. Okay. So, how's your day so far? So far, it's been very good. You're I happy? mean, it's been, yeah. it's been good. And yeah, you're happy? I right. am happy, but I'm also right. sad. Right you know, now. Because I want... Right now. I want to get to a place where I'm incredibly content. Now, hold on a second. Have... No, Kendra, come back. I'm not talking about where you're going to be in the future, honey. I'm talking about right now. Just be here with me right now. Okay. Right now. I'm just talking about right now. How are you doing? I, I keep going back. I understand that. Problem. Yeah. So. I just keep going back yeah, and back yeah, and back and yeah, back. And I can't a, stop it. Like, yeah. I can't stop okay. thinking about Ken, Kendra, that. Kendra. I'm sorry. Kendra. Yes. There's hundreds of people on the platform anyway, so I don't want to spend the whole time. That's so. That's fine. But right. hold on. Let's hang out together right now for 20 seconds. Okay. Here. Here. You and I, here. Okay. Without the story. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening here, in here, in this moment? I am just going to look at this beautiful tree that I have with blooming okay. flowers. So and you're, no, hold on a second. You're going to or you're looking at? I am looking at the okay. tree. Yeah, then don't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. So get into the practice of this what I just shared with you. Okay. Okay. Get in a practice that every day you make a conscious effort of coming into this moment and hanging out in this moment. Maybe you do it several times a day. Okay. Okay. So hold on a second. That's a practice I'm giving you. And in one week, contact me and we'll power to see where you're at with this practice. Okay. Okay. Is that, okay. Fair? Is that fair enough? Absolutely. That's fine. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you.
I'm going to share one other thing with you is that when you do get close and you come in contact and within the vicinity of an awakened being, someone who has realized the self, someone who has become free from the cycle and realize that anything that comes and goes is not real. So you do come in contact with the teacher, the master, the guru, the awakened one. The one of the best things you can always do that when you're at the presence of a real true awakened being is to sit with them in silence. And again, it depends where you're at. Maybe in the beginning, you need to ask a lot of questions. <clears throat> depending of where in your path you, you're at. But as soon as you clear up all your questions, get in a habit of being in a company of the wise, but sit in silence and receive. Let their transmission penetrate your being. Just get showered by their presence. Don't get distracted with their looks or whatever it is. But when you start feeling love and the juice and the transmission, go for it. Sit in it, be quiet, and receive. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, for me, what I realized at the very end was, and also starting to teach, is really none of the things I'm saying and I'm sharing with you is that. That is really silence, to be very honest with you. And I know there are some people that won't believe it or, they, you know, they say, but, but, why, then, but I'm just telling you. There is nothing comparable to the power of silence, nothing. Right. <clears throat> And there's nothing you need to worry about, nothing at all, nothing, zero. Nothing to worry about because you are under the shield and the umbrella of the fifth dimensional angels of love and light. You're completely protected because you're connected to this. You're connected to this consciousness. And a part of this consciousness is to take care of you.
So you completely surrender and you dive into the teaching. Live the teachings. Not living the way the teacher lives. Live the teachings. And you're completely taken care of. Nothing ever is going to touch you. Nothing ever is going to touch you. You just keep coming back here. Give the story up, come back here. Come back to the heart. Hang out in the heart. Every time, every time you do that, boom, it's like an explosion. The self, the presence, appears, it reveals itself to you. There's nothing you want to worry about because you have God inside you and you acknowledge that. You have God inside you. So you're completely protected, always, and taken care of, and carried. One day you will see it for yourself, as clearly as I see it. We're going to continue our um, retreat tomorrow. I'll send you my love and light. I have a request from you is that after we finish up is I want you to spend half an hour in silence and don't get engaged with your phone or with your people or anything. Just Take this last words and last transmission into your heart and sit with it. And in that sitting, recognize that this love you're experiencing is really coming from yourself, from you. Recognize that in that moment. I'm going to support you, but I want you in, to take a moment of diving back inside yourself and recognizing that it's here, it's you, okay? Yes? Great. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, sending you a lot of love and light. It's a pleasure to be together again. Namaste.